lot of people have asked about my motorcycle and I wanted to show it to you. I'm getting ready for a long ride. One of the ways that I worship God is by being on this motorcycle and enjoying life. It has been said that life is too strenuous. See that your clocks don't run down. In Matthew 11, verse 28, it says, Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When you have the ability to rest and really enjoy life, that is what life is all about. See, the demands of daily life can drain us in our strength and rob us of the joy that God intends for God's children. When we find ourselves tired or discouraged, or even worse, there is a source from which we can draw the power needed to recharge our spiritual batteries. And that source is God. God wants God's children to lead joyous lives that are filled with spiritual abundance and peace. But sometimes those blessings seem elusive, don't they? It is then that we must turn to God for renewal and work with God and turn ourselves away from the stresses of daily life. And when we do, God will restore us. God expects us to work hard, but also God expects us to rest and to play. When we fail to take the rest that we need, we do a disservice to ourselves and to those around us. So, questions my friend, is your spiritual battery running low? Is your energy on the wane? Are your emotions frayed? If so, turn to God and accept the rest and recharging that only God can offer. When I'm on this motorcycle, I use it as, as a tool, a technique for praise. I get out there and see the wonder that God has created. Our praise for the Creator shouldn't just be reserved for bedtimes or meal times or, or church services greatest extent that we can have to a joyous life is to find that thanksgiving in a moment-to-moment -moment existence with a song in our hearts and on our lips. Worship must be woven into the fabric of our lives. A well-known preacher once said that if you do not worship God seven days a week, you will not worship God one day a week. Well, I agree. So today, take yourself away from the stresses of life. Find time. Enjoy life. And when you enjoy life, thank God for all that God has done. Every time you notice a gift from the giver of all good things, praise God. And God's works will be marvelous. They will multiply in front of your eyes. God's gifts will be bountiful, and God's love will endure in your heart forever. Remember, my friend, there are two wings that are necessary to lift our souls toward God. Prayer and praise. Prayer asks, but praise compliments back. Take the time today to compliment back. Get out there and enjoy the life that God has given you. God bless.